with a local firefighter making history with her latest promotion. Senior Vacaville correspondent Dina Kupfer stated by to give us all the fantastic details. Hi, Dina. You know I love my Vaca Vegas stories. Yes, and good morning to all of you. So we are here at Station 74 this morning in Vacaville, right off of Alamo, and we have a very special guest with us this morning. We have Mindy Simpson, who has just been promoted to captain of the fire station. And not only is she a fire captain, she is the first female captain here in the city of Vacaville. So good morning to you, Mindy. Good morning. Um, I know that, you know, as I saw the story come across our radar, I thought, oh my gosh, how wonderful, the first female fire captain for the city. For you, though, it's more than being a female in, the, in this role. This is something that you have worked tirelessly for 29 years, right? Yeah, 25 years here in Vacaville, yes, yeah, but yeah. 29 years total in the fire service. Okay, so yeah. what does it mean for you to be promoting from engineer to now captain? Um, more responsibility, different responsibility. <laughs> uh, um, no, it's really exciting. I've been working for a long time for it, and um, just to have the opportunity to move into a new role, you know, it's it's it really exciting. Yeah, and we have some pictures of you on the job doing some of the work that you do every single day. So tell me what really, you know, has kept you going in this service. I mean, 29 years in any industry is a long time. So for you to continue to want to promote and to build your career and move up in the ranks, what keeps you going? Um, just being able to serve the community, um, being able to come to work and, and go to a job that I enjoy. Uh, you know, we, we eat together, we, you know, joke around together, we get to serve the community. Um, you know, there's how many people get to to go somewhere that they like to wake up and go to. Absolutely, and I know that there are gonna be a lot of little girls watching this interview today. Some might not even realize that there is a future in fire, you know, maybe don't see it very often, but now to see a female in this position, what does that mean for you? I think it's it's really special. Um, I, um, I've i been driving a fire truck for the last 12 years, so, you know, <laughs> they've seen me driving down the street in the fire truck, and that's always fun to, to get to wave at them, um, you know, Boys and girls alike. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, moving into to to the other seat is is going to be fun. Yeah. And by the way, when we do live shots here on Good Day and on CBS, we always look for a public information officer to interview someone wearing a red helmet. So we've got the current fire captain here. This is Steve LaPera, and he's got his captain's helmet here. That is pretty ceremonious because you know you're going to not only be transitioning out of this role in November, now handing the ranks over to Mindy, but she took your role as engineer too. So mm -hmm. you just keep creating vacancies for mm -hmm. her. What is it like to see her now moving into the captain seat? Well, well, the funny part was we were just talking about this was that she was mentioning it to me and she goes you know I got took your position as engineer and I'm like what and now I'm leaving she taking my spot you know it's very rare to know who took your spot or to re even remember who took your spot sure. this far down and she remembered both that I'm like wow and I'm like wow that's to me that's an honor to know first of all for me to know it was her and second it, she's doing it again both times. Yeah, it's and kind I of crazy. Work with your crew. Yeah, she yeah. gets to work with my crew and all that stuff. And I just told her I'm sorry that I should have done it four years ago. <laughs> then she would have gotten this job four years ago, but I'm leaving now. So, you are, you are. yeah. So officially in November is when the post is going to change yeah. hands. But can we do a little a little good day action? I know you just had the uh, kind of unofficial ceremony last Monday where you were in that pinning yeah, ceremony I mean, where you got the badge. But now we want to see the red helmet pass yeah. over. Okay, so so explain to me the significance of this. Well, the red helmet represents represents all the work that you've done and we represent the community and all that stuff but the red helmet is basically for all of us is just an honor that you've worked this hard to get this far up yeah. but you also have responsibility for the station and for the whole crew and all that stuff that yeah. it's a higher responsibility that you now take care of for the community but you're also responsible for everything that goes on out there yeah it's such an honor to take this and to take and pass it on to Mindy and what's even better is that you won't be coming to find me on calls anymore <laughs> because that's what you look for is a red helmet. Yeah, yeah. So I'm handing this off to Mindy. Here Mindy, congratulations. <laughs> I'm so glad that you took this spot, and not only that, but you took my engineer and my captain. Yeah, so. yeah, I feel very honored. Oh, good. Well, Mindy, we are so lucky to have you in our community. I know she is also a mom of four, and as a new mom, I look to her and think her kids probably think she's pretty cool. Would you say that? Of course. <laughs> and they can't argue because they're not here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. We're so proud and honored to be able to do the interview with you today. And we're going to have much more for a story coming up tonight on CBS 13 as well, guys. For now, from back of Vegas, meet your new captain, Mindy yeah. Simpson, in Vacaville. Nice. Back to you. Nice job. <laughs> nice job.